If you're searching for Ultimate Team Coins, head over to ifootcoins.com, hit up the link in the description below and use my discount code GUNA for 6% off. Want the best controller customizations around? Then head over to Angel Grips, use my code GOON, it will get you 5% off. What's up guys, Guinness to here bringing you another Man of the Match player review and today we are reviewing Man of the Match Jerome Boateng, the German defender who plays for Bayern Munich. So let's quick look at the squad that I played him in and remember guys, 200 likes would be amazing, make sure you're following me on Twitter as well. Taking a close look at him, 6 foot 4, medium medium work rates, right footed, 4 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves as well. Cost me 1 million coins although you can't get hold of him due to the price ranges. 7 games, 1 goal and I've added the shadow chemistry star to him to boost his pace and his defending. So looking at his comparison to his upgraded card, you see pace has gone up by 1, dribbling and physical by 2, passing and defending by 3 and shooting the biggest increase going up by 5 overall. And when we look at the in-game stats, you see 90 strength is a standout as well as 88 sprint speed which is absolutely rapid for a centre-back although his acceleration is lacking a little bit but it means he gets up to top speed when he's up there he's amazingly fast. You'll see on the skill attributes as well, not so many dark greens but they're all to do with defending, you know, tackling, slide tackle, standing tackle, although his shot power is amazing, although his finishing lacks, 198 pounds is what he weighs, can play as a centre-back or a right-back, so that means he's a little bit more technical than the usual centre-back as well. He's also got the tackling speciality as well, and the others remain the same for his 86 rated card. So what are my expectations of this card? Well, I've always got a Boateng in my club, doesn't matter what version it is, he's an outstanding defender. I would say if you're not including legends, I'd say in the top five centre-backs in the game, that's how good he is. And this card is a nice upgrade. What you'll notice as well is that he now has the tackling speciality and that's the thing with some of these upgraded cards. Even if the numbers look very similar, they'll change the fact that they've got different specialities and traits and that can make a big difference in how the player plays in the game. This guy has all the attributes to be a fantastic defender as well. He's taller at 6 foot 4, taller than most other centre backs as well. And of course when you've got decent defending stats, tackling stats, aerial ability as well, just means he's all set up to be one of the best centre backs for you and just give you a rock at the back as well. And of course, you know, he's in the Bundesliga, plays for Bayern, one of the best teams in the game. He's going to be there. When you play Ultimate Team, you pretty much come up against this guy, I'd say one in every four games, if not more often, because he is an amazing guy to use. Of course, I'm not talking about this particular card because it's pretty rare. However, I mean any of his versions. And what the difference is with this one is, is that, you know, he's got the tackling speciality now as well, which is fantastic. And he's just more commanding as well across the board. He's technical, you know, four star weak foot, three star skill moves for a centre back is absolutely amazing as well. The only thing you've got to take into account that is not great about this card is the medium, medium work rates. It's not going to change, unfortunately. Is he worth the coins? Well, seeing how rare he is, he's probably worth more than a million. I'd say if you can get him, just pick him up. So let's review what I've thought about him. Fantastic pace for a centre back as well. Outstanding sprint speed. Super strong as well. Won't get bullied. Great in the air. His height is key to that. Superb tackling and interceptions as well. He's just going to win the ball back for you all day long. Fantastic passing for a centre-back as well. And a four-star weak foot means you don't have to worry about always getting it on his stronger foot. Medium, medium work rates though is a bit of a pain with him. You need to make sure you pair him up with someone with a high defence work rate. But overall, a fantastic card to use. Give him a 9.25 out of 10. Hopefully, you'll get a team this season and that will be even better. But that's the review, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.